Welcome to Rett University. My name is Judy LaRiviere, and I'm excited to offer a new course through Rett University called Communicator 5, Setting Up, Customizing, and Communicating, Part 1. This is almost a six-hour course that's designed to getting you up and running with Communicator 5 on Toby iGaze systems, including Toby iSeries devices, iSeries Plus devices, and if you're using a Toby PCI Go on a laptop or a tablet. And so in this course, I share my customized homepage set and I need something pages that are set up in my tried and true eye gaze layout that support an individual's natural eye gaze patterns when they're using eye gaze technology. You'll also see that there's some new images from Creative Communicating that are really new and engaging for individuals with Rett syndrome. Yes, they've been, these have been developed by Patty King Debon herself and they're designed for girls, teens, and young women. I also have set for boys if you need them. Throughout this course, I've integrated step-by-step -step videos that will walk you through the process for creating a new user in Communicator 5. And this will address individuals who are first-time Toby iGaze users or Communicator 5 users, as well as if you're already an existing Communicator 5 user and you want to integrate your own customized homepage into the user or page set or my homepage so it loads up automatically instead of the default homepage that comes with Communicator 5. Now, if you're using Communicator 4 and you want to be transitioning over to Communicator 5, I've got step-by-step -step process for downloading a 30-day trial of Communicator 5 and then transferring and sorry, and then transferring page sets from the Communicator 4 to over to Communicator 5 without losing any content that you've already spent time programming. This allows for a really seamless transition for the individual with Rett syndrome who's using Communicator 4 into using Communicator 5 so that they can continue using the pages that they already know and use. I also go over how to configure eye gaze settings in Communicator 5 and capitalize on this amazing new feature that's available in Communicator 5 that prevents individuals with Rett syndrome from getting stuck in a button and repeating it over and over and over again. And this naturally happens for individuals with Rett syndrome because of their apraxia sometimes or just not shifting their gaze as easily between buttons. In addition, I've included detailed steps for programming new pages and new buttons in Communicator 5 and I go over a step-by-step -step process for integrating Patty King DeBond's dynamic communication book into the user that you create during the course and linking your page sets between using the dynamic communication book. I also, throughout this course, include all the tips and tricks that I know to help you program easily and quickly. Most importantly, I also discuss strategies for supporting communication and conversations for individuals with Rett syndrome while taking into their apraxia and sensory processing challenges that they experience. You will see videos of girls using Toby eye gaze systems throughout the course. So that's just a quick overview. I look forward to seeing you in the course. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did putting it together for you.